The nomination will be favorably reported to the floor. Next is Mustafa Kujubai, nominated to the District of Oregon. Does anyone seek recognition? Mr. Chairman. Senator Cruz. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I've spoken about this nominee in the past, and there's a pattern when Democrats have problematic nominees ones that would be embarrassing if their support for those nominees were widely publicized, they do what they're doing today, which is they flood the zone with nominees and they pack the objectionable ones in the middle, hoping no one notices. Well, Mustafa Kasubai is a particularly extreme nominee. President Biden has nominated his fair share of wild leftists, but it's not often that one has such a clear track record of, among other things, advocating for Marxist outcomes. Judge Katsubai has previously advocated for, quote, the integration of Marxist theory into the American economic system. And he has argued for a creative struggle to, quote, redefine property. He's not even bothering to hide his radicalism. And by the way, my colleague, Senator Booker, accused Republicans of McCarthyism, even if he wasn't sure if it was Eugene, Joe, or Kevin. But I would note that, that when I said Democrats are behaving as the Russian Politburo, I was not calling you communists. I was instead pointing to action. What did the Politburo do? It behaved like docile sheep doing whatever dear leader required. Your behaviors can refute the Politburo by having one Democrat vote no on one nominee, but none of you will. You all will do. You behave like the Politburo, which is why I said you behave like the Politburo. And here you have an instance to do so to decide whether or not you want, you want to vote for a nominee who is advocated for Marxism. Now, that's your choice. But if you always follow the orders of the White House, no matter how extreme the nominee is, then you shouldn't be surprised when you're compared to the Politburo, because that's what the Politburo did. I will also point out that Judge Katsubai has required litigants who come before him to refer to one another by their preferred pronouns and pressured party to include their gender pronouns on their signature block. Now, I've litigated cases in front of a lot of judges. I've never seen a judge do this anywhere in the country, and it gives you a sense of just how extreme and radical this is. He's going to impose his ideology on you. If you're a litigant, you will knuckle under to this extreme ideology. He also proclaimed that DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, is the heart and soul of the court system. In fact, he went on to say, can we say that? Yeah. I just did, and I'm saying it proudly. Senator Booker, who is my friend who I work with quite a bit, said that all of the Democrats are horrified by what's happening on college campuses. I wish that were a true statement. But I don't see Democrats speaking up, taking on the anti-Semitism at college campuses, taking on the DEI, that is resulting in Jewish students feeling persecuted because radicals treat Jews as oppressors and treat Hamas terrorists as victims. I certainly don't want federal judges making decisions on the basis of race or vague expressions of leftist ideology. There is a reason that Lady Justice is blind because a judge is not to show, supposed to show prejudice or preference one way or the other for any race, for any religion. A judge is supposed to follow the law. <coughs> and finally, what was particularly concerning was Judge Katsubai's actions during the violent riots we saw all across the country in 2020. When Portland, Oregon suffered months of violence at the hands of Antifa rioters, specifically singling out the Marco Hatfield Federal Courthouse for attack. For 60 days, 6-0, radicals laid siege to a federal courthouse, attempting to set it on fire, throwing Molotov cocktails, fighting federal officers, injuring law enforcement officers day after day after day, 
even using lasers to permanently damage the eyes of some of the officers. Well, the city of Eugene saw what was happening in Portland and tried to prevent that from happening in Eugene, Oregon. But Eugene is where Judge Katzabai provided, presided. The city of Eugene sought to enforce a curfew to prevent similar violence in Eugene. And what did J J Judge Katzabai do? He blocked it. Not only did he block it, he retaliated against the city manager that enacted the cur curfew and the police chief that enforced the curfew. He denied them qualified immunity, in essence, throwing them to the wolves to be sued for trying to protect the citizens of Eugene, Oregon, and keep them safe. If you want to know whether a federal judge is going to stand with violent mobs or the citizens, you can look to this case and decide. And if you want to know whether the Senate Democrats are going to stand with the violent mobs or the citizens, you can look to their vote in just a moment and see as well. And again, that is not by association, my friend. That is your actions. When you say the word I over and over and over again, no matter the record, your actions are defining what you're doing. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, he invoked my name. I hate to slow things up, but uh, he did not, to the record, he clarified that he's not calling us communists. He's calling all Democrats docile sheep. This from a guy who's afraid to face me in basketball since we've gotten here. I will quote to you simply uh, from uh, one of my uh, uh, toxic masculinity heroes, uh, Mark Wayne Mullen. I quote, any time, any place, cowboy. <laughs> okay. The quote from that same senator, now's the time, now's the place. <laughs> There's Bernie asking us to settle down. <laughs> Sorry, we have a flood of nominees. Next, <laughs> next is Mustafa Kazuai, nominated District of Oregon, Clerk of Call the Roll. Mr. White House. Aye. Ms. Bogachar. Aye. Mr. Coon. Aye. Mr. Blumenthal. Aye. Mr. Rona. Aye. Mr. Booker. Aye. Mr. Padilla. Aye. Mr. Asa. Aye. Mr. Welch. Aye. Mr. Butler. Aye. Mr. Grant. No, by proxy. Mr. Grant. No, by proxy. No. Mr. Lee. No by proxy. Mr. Coon. No. Mr. Howie. No by proxy. Mr. Cotton. No by proxy. Mr. Kennedy. No by proxy. Mr. Tillis. No by proxy. Mrs. Blackburn. No by proxy. Mr. Durbin. Aye. Mr. Durbin, I'm the nomination will be favorable. We'll be reported to the floor. Next is Edward Keel, nominated to the District of New Jersey. Anyone seek recognition? If not, the clerk will call the roll. Mr. Whitehouse. Aye. Ms. Bogachar. Aye. Mr. Coon. Aye. Mr. Blumenthal. Aye. Ms. Perona. Aye. Mr. Booker. Aye. Mr. Padilla. Aye. Mr. Ossoff. Aye. You sure you want Mr. that? Aye. Ms. Sure you Butler. want that chair? Aye. Mr. Graham. No by proxy. No by proxy. Mr. Forney. No. Mr. Lee. No by proxy. Mr. Cruz. No. Mr. Holly. No by proxy. Mr. Cotton. No by proxy. Mr. Kennedy. No by proxy. Mr. Tillis. No by proxy. Mr. Blackburn. No by proxy. Chair Durbin. Aye. The nomination will be favorably reported to the floor. Next is Yumi Lee to the Northern District.